Dr. Masha here. Today I'd like to talk to you about the use of ozone therapy for long COVID syndrome. But before we start, I'll ask you to give this video likes so more people who suffer from long COVID can see this video and use this information in their recovery. I suffered from long COVID myself. I was really sick and I was doing a lot of research to see which therapies can be potentially helpful for post-COVID syndrome. And today I'd like to talk to you about the ozone therapy. Ozone is a gas. It is found in nature in the upper levels of atmosphere where it protects us from the harmful effects of UV radiation. It can be reproduced in the doctor's office by using oxygen and electricity. That's how we get ozone. Ozone therapy can be delivered via different ways to the body. It can be done rectally, can be done vaginally, can be done as an intramuscular injection or intervertebral injection. But the most powerful way to get ozone is through ozone IV when a mixture of 95% oxygen and 5% ozone is diffused into blood in a glass container and once it's diffused it's being returned into the circulation by IV. Ozone is a major oxidant found in nature and that's how it works. So initially, it produces a lot of oxidative stress. It creates several reactive oxygen species, such as hydrogen peroxide. These molecules, although we find them damaging, for example, to viruses, bacteria, and when people have too many of them, they exhibit illness. But in fact, we also need reactive oxygen species because it will help cells that are no longer viable to go through cell death process, for example. But most importantly, reactive oxygen species stimulate internal antioxidant capacities of the body. So when we introduce ozone and it produces this oxidant effect, it is immediately followed by an antioxidant production internally in your body that has a major beneficial effect for cells and tissues. It makes us produce superoxide dismutase or glutathione peroxidase, heat shock proteins, all these beautiful things that are needed so we can finally start feeling better. Ozone therapy is, has been known for at least 50 years. It has beneficial effects for many diseases, heart disease, neurodegenerative disease like Alzheimer's and Parkinson. It works really well for some patients with infertility, or I'd rather say for patients with some types of infertility diagnosis. All kinds of acute and chronic infections can be helped by ozone fibrosis, so an excessive generation of scar tissue in the body because of an infection or a trauma can be helped by ozone. There are many more indications, musculoskeletal diseases, arthritis, autoimmune conditions. So of course, long COVID syndrome shares many characteristics with these conditions. For example, some of its features are very similar to chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia. And we know that chronic fatigue syndrome patients, fibromyalgia patients benefit from ozone therapy. Autoimmune conditions, many hormonal disorders could be helped by ozone. And we know that there is hormonal disequilibrium that we see in post-COVID syndrome. So you see how it's all interconnected that way. As I said, ozone can be delivered via different ways. It produces oxidative stress that is followed by antioxidant response. Uh, more than 200 genes, antioxidant genes are upregulated when we use ozone therapy. For long COVID patients, Ozone can do a lot of things. It can help with lung fibrosis, and we see case reports, and in my clinical practice, I've seen this when after going through a series of ozone treatments, we can see that the lung tissue improved on scans. There was a lot less fibrosis seen, 
and therefore we see increase in uh, VO2 max and other parameters that can tell you that lungs are getting healthier. This is specifically important for people who had a lot of respiratory problems during their initial acute COVID infection. It can be helpful for people who experience a lot of fatigue, like I did myself after COVID, and it improves their energy. It sends oxygen to mitochondria, so mitochondria can up their ATP production, and they can start feeling better right away. Therefore, it improves the sense of general sense of well-being, and many people report even this euphoria type of feeling after receiving an ozone treatment. Ozone is especially helpful in hormonal disequilibriums, imbalances, problems that frequently occur in post-COVID syndrome patients. We know that it can help with thyroid function, it can help with adrenal function. So uh, again, great therapy for those kind of patients who experience hormonal imbalance. Also, ozone is antithrombotic. This means that those who have microclotting might see an improvement in that area. What's important is to make sure that if you're already on blood thinners, to show this to your ozone practitioner, because only specific kind of blood thinners is contraindicated with ozone. And you might be on a completely different medication that is compatible with ozone therapy. As we know, ozone is great for acute and chronic infections. And for long COVID sufferers, it is helpful in the cases of viral persistence, when despite the fact that acute infection is over, we still find either virus itself or viral particles in some fluids. So ozone can help us get rid of those. But also in patients who've seen reactivation of old infections such as uh, Lyme disease or Epstein-Barr and their symptoms are more compatible with reactivation of Lyme rather than the consequences of COVID itself. So ozone can be quite helpful in this kind of conditions. Let us look at contraindications really quickly because those are important as well. First of all, never inhale ozone it's toxic to lungs avoid contact with eyes make sure that your ozone practitioner has the list of the medications that you're taking and if you have some genetic disease such as sickle cell anemia please make sure that your provider knows that i hope you found this information helpful if you have an ozone long COVID recovery story please share it in the comment section below. Please give this video likes. As I said, more people will be able to see this information and use ozone and other therapies that I talk about on this channel for long COVID.